So in this, uh, in this chapter, we will learn about ViewPager. So ViewPager is an alternative to, uh, to um, tab applications. And the idea is to have a main screen that you can swipe to have new screens that will be displayed. OK? So the first swipe will just change the main view. And you can use it for slideshow or UE setup wizard and so on. So it's an alternative to tab application when you want to have a small number of tabs and you, want, you don't want to display it to the user since you know that all the tab will be accessed uh, in consecutive order. OK? So view pages are based on fragments. So each view is a dedicated fragment. And you can have animations uh, through the fragments. So first of all, let's define the fragments. Uh, here we define a scroll view and that embeds a text view. And then we can define our fragments. So we just specify the inflator to the inflator what is the layout we want to inflate. And then we can use a view pager to display our pages. So in our main activity, we can define view pager as a component, which will be displayed. And now we have to set up this view pager in order to call our fragments so that they can be displayed. So we have to do it through an adapter. So defining the page adapter is quite simple. We just have to specify that we inherit from fragments say page adapter, and then we have some method to refine get item. So what's happening when I want to access the page eight, for instance? So this will return a fragment. Here we can see that for each fragment we return a new fragment which is a fragment I previously defined in this slide. So for each item, I just call new screen slide page fragments. Then I can observe that I have uh, some method, which is get count, which define the number of slides that I will have inside of my uh, component. So here, the, the adapter is ready to be used. And so in the main activity, which is a fragment activity, we can see that we have the onCreate method. And this method grab some references uh, to pager and pager adapter. And then we just fix the adapter with set adapter, page adapter. So it's quite close to what we have done with lists. And then when some element or some action happens here, when I press back, for instance, I have to update my pager. So two options. The first one is I am on the slide zero and I press back. Doing that means that I want to quit my application. So I just call on back pressed. Otherwise, I'm on slide eight and I press back. So I have to go back to slide three, uh, eight minus one, seven. <laughs> okay, so here I just get the current item minus one and I set the current uh, screen to be this item, okay? So with a slider, we can have this kind of animations. So this kind of animation makes your application more friendly. So you can use animation to do that. Uh, it's quite simple. You just have to implement viewpager.pagetransformer. And there are some predefined animations that exist. For instance, here you can see that there is zoom out page transformer that helps you to, to have 
a zoom. So when you swipe, the new screen is popping and as far as it goes to the center of the screen, it grows. Okay? So this is a predefined, uh, uh, a predefined um, animation. But you can define your own animation. For instance, if you want to have a parallax page transformer, for instance, uh, where some, some UI is appearing slowly, okay, what's happening? You just have to define your own class that implements viewPager.PageTransformer and then you have to refine the method transformPage in order to do something. So th this method gives you a position so you know what is the current position and during the animation, you can do something with the view. So you can, for instance, set the translation to some speed and so on. Okay? So you have to know that uh, when you, you have some animations, uh, the previous, the current, the previous, and the next um, screen are concerned by this animation. So you can do something on the three uh, screens. Okay? So to sum up, ViewPager is an alternative to uh, to a tab application, and it's easily customizable. And you have to use it when you want to only display a few set of tabs to your user that are accessed consecu consecutively. Um, this is useful when you want to display contents like video, photos, where the full screen is useful. Uh, for displaying.